Hello! Our topic for today is about expressing rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form and vice versa. Let's start! Welcome! Are you excited for a fun learning session? I hope you are safe and good today. First, nagumpisa tayo sa expressing fraction to decimal form. Example number one, express 3 fourth to decimal form. 3 over 4. Ang gagawin natin dyan, yung 3, siya yung magiging dividend natin, and yung 4, siya yung magiging divisor natin. I-divide lang natin yung dalawang yan. Okay, so we have 3 divided by 4. Okay, so ganyan yung mangyayari. Okay, then 3 divided by 4 is 0, kasi hindi pwede. Okay, so 4 times 0 is 0, ayan. Then, 3 minus 0 is 3. Okay, parang nagde-divide din tayo ng regular number. Hindi porket mas maliit yung 3, ay siya yung ilalagay natin sa labas or siya yung i-divide natin. Laging kung ano yung nasa taas, kung ano yung nasa numerator natin, siya din yung nasa loob or yung dividend natin kapag nag-divide tayo. Okay, so, dahil uh, meron pa tayong 3 dito, pwede tayong mag-add ng 0. Then, lalagay na natin yung decimal point kung saan tayo nag-add. Maglalagay yung decimal point dyan, then mag-add tayo ng 0, 0. Then, 30 divided by 4 will give you 7. Okay, then 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, then 30 minus 28 will give you 2. Then, mag-add na naman tayo ng 0. Okay, 0. 20 divided by 4 will give you 5. Okay, then 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, then 0 na siya. Okay, again kung saan kayo banda nag-add ng 0, dun din yung decimal point. Therefore, kapag in-express natin yung 3 fourths sa decimal form, ang equivalent niya is 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. Okay, so tapos na tayo doon. Another example. Example number 2, express 1 third to decimal form. Okay, so we have 1 third. Again, ganun yung gagawin natin. Gagawin nating dividend yung 1, divisor yung 3. So we have 1 divided by 3. Okay, so 1 divided by 3 is 0. So lalagay natin dito, 0. 0 times 3 is Okay, then 1 minus 0 is 1 Again, mag-a-add tayo ulit ng 0 So, meron na tayong death point dyan Okay, then add tayo ng 0 0 Bring down natin yung 0 doon 10 divided by 3 will give you 3 Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9 Okay, then 10 minus 9 is 1 Okay, mag-a-add tayo ulit ng 0 Okay, then 0. Again, 10 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, then 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, then 10 minus 9 is 1. Then add tayo ulit ng 0. Okay, 0. 10 divided by 3 is 3 ulit. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, then let's stop. Okay, pag napapansin nyo na paulit-ulit na lang yung number, depende kasi yun kapag ang instruction is round to the nearest hundreds or round to the nearest thousands. Okay, so actually yung one-third, pwede na ang equivalent niya is 0 0.33 or 0 0.333. Kasi nga hindi natatapos yung number na yan. So kahit mag-divide tayo hanggang 1,000, magiging 0 0.3333333 and marami pang 3 ang magiging sagot natin. So kapag sinabi sa inyo na yung answer nyo is dapat nasa hundreds, okay? Okay na to. Pag sinabing round your answer to the nearest thousands, okay? Ito yung magiging sagot nyo. Okay? So tapos na tayo doon. Next topic is expressing decimal to fraction form. Okay, so let's have an example. 
Example 1, express 0.75 to fraction. Then we have 0.75, express daw natin to sa fraction form. Okay, yung gagawin lang natin isang technique, i-divide lang natin ito sa hundreds or thousands. Okay, halimbawa, 75. Okay, i-divide natin siya sa 100. Bakit? Okay, kasi nasa hundreds yung 75 natin. Okay, kung halimbawa itong 75 na dagdagan pa siya ng K. So, ang mangyayari, dahil tatlong number na yan, tatlong zero na din yung ipang divide natin. Magiging 1,000 na siya. Then, lalagay natin yung 5 dyan. Okay, halimbawa lang. So, dahil nasa hundreds place lang naman, itong decimal natin, so, ang pang divide lang natin is 100. Okay, so, ayan lang. Then, i-divide na natin, or simply sa fraction, Isi-simplify lang natin. Ilo-lowest term lang natin. So, ang mangyayari, mag-iisip lang tayo ng number na pwede natin ipang-divide sa kanilang dalawa. Okay, kung naisip nyo agad yung 25, good for you. So, halimbawa, 25. Okay, so 75 divided by 25 will give you 3. Then, 100 divided by 25 is 4. So, ito na yung equivalent fraction ng 0.75. Okay, buran natin yan. Okay, 0.75. Pero, kung halimbawa naman na hindi mo agad naisip yung 25, so we have 75 over 100, pwede ka namang mag-umpisa dun sa mababa. Halimbawa, ang naisip mo is 5 kasi pwedeng i-divide yung 5 kay 75 at kay 100. Okay, so divided by 5. 75 divided by 5, 15. Okay, then 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay, then mapapansin mo, si 15 over 20, may lowest term pa siya. Pwede pa tayo ulit mag-divide ng 5. Okay, so 15 divided by 5 will give you 3. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, so mag-a-arrive pa rin tayo dun sa same answer. Kaya nga lang, medyo mas mahaba yung process kapag hindi natin naisip agad yung kanilang GCF. Okay. So, another example. Halimbawa, ang pinapa-express sa inyo sa fraction form is 0 0.05. Okay. So, ang mangyayari dyan, magiging 5 divided by 100 yan. Pero kapag ang pinapa-express naman sa inyo is 0 0.5, ganyan, so, magiging 5 over 10. So, nakita nyo na kung paano nyo hahanapin kung ano yung pang divide So, kapag ganyan, dalawang number lang, dalawang zero lang. Kapag isang number, isang zero lang. Okay, then try natin kung may pinagkaiba. 5 divided by 100. So, mag-divide tayo ng 5. Okay, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay, so ang equivalent ng 0 0.05 is 1 over 20. Then, 0 0.5 is 5 over 10. Kasi nga, isa lang siya. So, isang 0 lang din. Then, divide natin sila ng 5. Kasi divisible din ng 5 yan. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, ang equivalent ng 0 0.5 is 1 half. So, ganun lang kadali yun. Another example naman. Example number 2, express 2.35 to fraction form. So, kapag ganyan naman na may kasama siyang whole number, we have 2.35. Okay, wag nyo munang papakialaman yung whole number. Focus muna tayo dito sa 35. So, pag sinulat natin yan, magiging 0.35 yan. For example, alisin muna natin yung whole number. Okay, so ganun din. Dahil dalawang number yan, so dalawang zero then or 100 yung i-divide natin sa kanya. Okay, so magiging 35 over 100. Then, the lowest term lang natin ulit. Okay, so for example, divide natin ng 5. Okay, so 35 divided by 5 will give you 7. 100 divided by 5 will give you 20. Okay, 
So, pag nakita nyo, hindi na siya pwedeng i-lowest term. Therefore, eto na yung sagot natin, 7 over 20. Doon sa 0 0.35. Ngayon, ang mangyayari, dahil nga whole number yan, idudugtong lang natin. Therefore, ang equivalent niya is 2. Idudugtong lang natin yung whole number, which is 2. Then, 7 over 20. Okay, so, naka-mix number siya. Ito na yung final answer natin. 2 and 7 over 20. Pero kapag pinapasulat naman sa inyo or ang sagot na hinahanap is improper fraction, so ang gagawin nyo lang, i-times nyo lang to times, tapos add nyo dun. So, 20 times 2 is 40 plus 7 is 47. Ulitin ko, 20 times 2, sa times nyo yung dalawang yan, then add nyo yung numerator. 20 times 2 is 40 plus 7, 47. Then, kopyahin nyo lang itong nasa baba. Over 20. Okay? So, eto na yung uh, sagot natin kapag naka-improper fraction siya. That's it. Thank you for listening. I hope na may natutunan kayo ngayong araw na to. Bye!